Hey Taurus, I'm Chris. Welcome to the House of Light and Shadow and welcome to your October reading. Now Taurus, coming into this reading as I'm connecting to your energy, there feels like there's a bit of like a cautionary tale for October. And I'm a visual person so let me describe this to you visually. There's sort of two sides to this, right? One is a cautionary tale where it says be careful what you do because it could end in destruction. The other side of it is be careful with what you do because there might be something better that comes along. So for my first example, I see it as sort of Taurus, you're walking through this place that's really foggy and misty. And you're being asked right now to be very patient, to put one step, one foot right in front of the next. If you move too fast, if you go too fast, you end up like risking going off the edge of a cliff. There's a part of you that could rush into something. There's a part of you that right now, Taurus, if you don't take your time, you're not going to be very happy with the outcome. In fact, you could be hurt by the outcome. So right now, it's a great time to practice patience. Do not take big risks right now. Uh, it feels like, Taurus, your energy is sort of expanding and growing and you're moving into a new place and you're finding your footing in a new place. So right now, it's asking you to be very safe to do the safe thing, to not take big risks and not move too fast. The other side of that, Taurus, is that, you know, right now you're in a place where patience is a virtue. And it's as if you're in a field and you're looking for something there that you know is really special. And you know that something special is there, something really valuable is there. And after a minute of looking, you see something really sparkly. And you just run for it and you grab it. And it's a big, beautiful, shiny crystal. And you take it to get appraised and you realize that it's actually a cubic zirconia. And that if you had just spent a little extra time looking, if you had spent a little extra time uh, to be patient and hold out for just the right thing, that you would have found like the biggest fucking diamond you would ever find in your life. So, Taurus, on the one hand, be patient because you could risk like damaging yourself or, or damaging your career or something like that, making moves that are maybe premature, making moves that actually, it's like quitting your job to find a new one and then you don't get a job as quickly, now you're broke. And also it's like, you know, don't take, if you are looking for a new job, for example, don't take the first thing that comes your way because there's something that could be even better. The central situation for the month of October, Taurus, is the Queen of Wands. Patience pays off right now. You're in a state of maturing, you're in a state of creating. The Queen of Wands says, Taurus, that you're sort of getting very comfortable with the new phase of your life. You're sort of coming into peace, uh, into, into harmony and balance with, with your emotional world, with your material world and your career. It's like, Taurus, we talk a lot about, you know, um, balancing work and, and emotions and and being okay, Taurus, with sort of putting yourself out there to be vulnerable emotionally. And right now, October is a big month where we get that sort of comfort of the home. We get the sort of comfort of love. If this is something that you haven't been experiencing, this is like where your attention needs to go this month. Because going from there into the dark time of the year, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, going into the dark time of the year, you're gonna want this sort of security. You're going to need this comfort. You're going to need to feel love. You're going to need to feel your best because I think we're on the cusp right now, Taurus, of a big creative period of your life. And so I think right now, Taurus, is the time to just sort of give yourself comforts, to allow yourself to be loved, to allow yourself to be held, to allow yourself to really focus on what's going to bring you long-term security so that when we're, we're in a time of creation, when we're in a time of creativity, when we're in a time of passions and getting life flowing again, you'll have this sort of home base to work from. In our ideals, Taurus is the sun. So we are looking for happiness. We are looking for joy and success. And Taurus, this is why I think there's a little bit of a cautionary tale here, because you see the way in this card, the sun's eyes are kind of looking off into the distance. It's as if like, there's something that's right ahead that you need to watch out for. That like being too swept up in excitement, being too swept up in, in passion and, and too swept up in getting carried away with say ego or emotions and thinking everything is gonna turn out great could lead to, you know, this little baby on this horse walking off the edge of a cliff. Like that son is looking ahead, be like, bitch, be careful. 
<laughs> like, like, have fun, enjoy life, but look, you got things to be serious about that you need to look out for. And that baby's like, I don't care. I'm just going. La 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 la. I'm just moving. I'm having the time of my life. I'm enjoying life. I'm partying. I'm living it up. I'm, you know, just excited and I think everything's going to turn out well no matter what. But that son is like, you better don't. <laughs> He's like, he has that vantage point. He has the clarity to say there's something right ahead that you need to look out for. So Taurus, again, enjoy our lives right now, but do sort of be on the lookout for what could be bad. And this isn't to say go through your life and, and sort of think about uh, dangers ahead, but, but take steps now to make sure, like I said again, that you are really secure, that your finances are okay, that where you live is secure. Like you have to make sure that those parts of your life right now, those essential parts of your life are in order. So in our past tours, we have the King of Cups, we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Empress in reverse. So here we have some emotional stability. Taurus, I think that we were sort of being on a little bit of an emotional high, which I think is why there's sort of this like, be careful. There's an emotional high. And I think you have an emotional high because it was feeling like with the Three of Pentacles, like things were coming into being. Like that you were working and it was paying off. That you were able to sort of enjoy life in certain ways that you had maybe an influx of money that was making you feel like right now the king of cups is feeling almost a little arrogant and it's okay to have felt arrogant because with the three of pentacles it means that you've been doing things that are meaningful to your to your finances that are meaningful to your material world where you're working you're making money you're creating things so sure yeah this place of sort of emotional satisfaction that you were feeling was good. This sort of even a little bit of arrogance about, yeah, yeah, I got it together. I'm good was okay. It was okay to feel like that. You like, it's like you earned that feeling Taurus. But now with the Empress in reverse, it feels almost as if like that security, that sense of, 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 I got this was feeling a little undermined. That sense of, uh, everything is great. I've been, I've been on this road. I have all this momentum. I have all this, all these things are going great. The Empress in reverse is again, that warning sign, you know, Venus is leaving Libra and it's going into Scorpio soon. And it's that sort of sense of like, are you sure you're okay? You know, Venus and Libra makes it feel like everything's beautiful and everything is great and love and connection and, and money and all these things are great. And then the Empress in reverse, Libra going into Scorpio is like, yo, there's some shit that you need to face. There's some underlying deep things that maybe you haven't been paying attention to. Maybe it's your health. Maybe it's your material security. So maybe things have been going really well and you've been making traction, but right now it's like you have to be very careful about your money. You have to be very careful about making sure you have a rock solid foundation. So again, Taurus, it's about slowing down. The, t the Empress in Reverse isn't necessarily saying that things are bad, but it's like cross your T's and dot your I's right now. You need to do a deep dive and make sure that there's a sort of fundamental security. Turning point here, Taurus, beautiful, the Ace of Cups. So this is what I said, guys, like there's a sense of, of passion, I think, in your lives right now. There's a sense of excitement. There's a lightness sort of to the emotions. So whether that's because you're letting go of something that was heavy or that you're embracing something new that's really exciting and you're feeling love, you're feeling excitement of life, like there's an influx of passion here, which I love for you guys because I think in the past we were talking about allowing this sort of emotional vulnerability into your life and sort of allowing the emotional world to take center stage in a, in a way. And that's been happening and you've been paying attention to your emotions, you've been paying attention to what you need, you've been paying attention to what drives you, you've been paying attention to what is going to make you truly happy. So again, you know, the, the sun, it's okay to enjoy what you've created for yourself. It's okay to enjoy this sort of uh, jolt of energy you might be feeling right now about what's to come. This jolt of reassurance, of validation that like, you got this, that things have been paying off, that, you know, you're, you're feeling a little high on life and that's good. There's a lot of, it feels like there's a lot of adrenaline. There's a lot of excitement. You see 
Taurus, going to the rest of October, we have the Devil, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. So, here's the thing, Taurus. If we, going to the end of the month, take time and are patient, and don't make quick moves, and don't, like, get, like, too carried away, the Knight of Wands is, like, what I said about arrogance, the Knight of Wands is like the epitome of arrogance. He's like, his like his shit doesn't smell. He just thinks that he is the shit and no one can touch him. Which is healthy if it's balanced, right? But right now, Taurus, there, there, you have to watch your hedonistic side, I think, this month. For some of you, you have to be careful with the indulgences of, of you know, food and drinks and sex and pleasure, like all of those typical warning signs that the devil comes with. But for some of you guys, I think there's a danger of like darkness here. There's a danger, uh, there's both There's both things here with the Eight of Cups, right? So for some of you guys, what the devil is representing with the Eight of Cups is that like you're really excited about moving on from a part of your life and, and you're kind of maybe indulging in your vices a little bit, right? Partying, drinking, doing all these things that are fun and exciting. For some of you guys, like the sense of moving on from something is coming with a lot of baggage and a lot of like heaviness. So how you deal with that is going to influence what kind of expression of the Knight of Wands you end up with. Do you end up with somebody who's arrogant and hurts himself because he thinks like nothing can hurt him? Or do you take a more tempered approach and a slow approach and allow yourself to change and allow yourself to adapt to your new reality? And then the Knight of Wands becomes a symbol of ambition going into November of feeling like the shit because you're, but you're doing the right things to make sure that that doesn't turn into aggression, that that doesn't turn into violence, that that doesn't turn into, um, you know, anger. Cause there's the potential for that here, Taurus. And again, my advice here is that I think if you move too fast, I think if you get carried away, I think if you let the adrenaline that you might be feeling about life, take you to a place where you end up being destructive, you could end up here. But do know either way, Taurus, that the past is sort of moving away from you in a way that is really exciting. And that you do have a lot to look forward to. And I think this is why in my meditation I said, like, look out, be cautious. This is why I said to look out, Taurus. This is why I said to be cautious. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. So this is what I've been saying, guys. You've been winning. That you've been getting successes. Like, you've been setting goals and accomplishing them. The things that you've been wanting to happen for a long time have been happening lately. Especially with regards to money and career. Like, it feels like those things have been good. Those things have been better than they have been. You're enjoying the, you're reaping the rewards that you've been working for with regards to your career for a while now. More money, more recognition, all of those things. You know, if you put too much wind on, on a fire, it can blow too big and burn things down. Or if you put not enough, you, you're, it's going to uh, burn out and just extinguish itself. We're in Libra season, Libra balances, right? So we have to apply, and Libra is cardinal air, which means that you have to apply the right amount of air, right? You sort of have to have a balanced approach to, to how fast you go, to how much you move. You want to get that fire of your ambition, the fire in your belly, burning just the right amount. Outcome for the month, guys, is the Five of Pentacles. This is why we're having this cautionary tale. Five of Pentacles says, be really, really, really careful about your money. Be really careful right now about how you spend. Be very, very careful with how you spend. Do not count your chickens before they hatch. Do not assume that money that's coming in is going to come in. Don't make any moves until you know like you have that money in your pocket. Don't take any leaps until you know that it's safe on the other side. I feel like in this month we're going to experience some obstacles and we're going to experience some, some things that might feel like setbacks and things that might feel like, you know, uh, the momentum that you were, you were uh, going with like sort of is faltering. 
All I can say, guys, is to just, again, be very careful with your money. What I said from the beginning here, right, with the Empress in Reverse, is that you have to be sure that you're secure. You have to make sure that your house is secure. You have to make sure that you have enough money in case of an emergency. You have to make sure that you don't spend money you don't have. You have to make sure that you don't make moves that are not financially sound. This is not a time, Taurus, to say, quit your day job and focus on your passion. Not in October. Def definitely not in October. This is the time to do the safe things. All right, Taurus, we're going to take one uh, little oracle card here to wrap up the reading to see one last bit of advice from spirit, from your higher self, about how we can deal with the energy going forward into um, the rest of the month. Sincerity. All right, Taurus, I really like this card for you. First of all, what it says is to not devalue partnerships and to be honest and to be open with what you need and to be honest with the people around you. Sincerity is telling me that you might need help in certain ways, right? Sincerity is telling me that it's asking you to sort of be vulnerable. If you're feeling a certain way, tell someone who cares about it, right? Who cares about you. Sincerity is like when you extend your arm, someone else is going to be there to help you and take it. Taurus, you are not going to be alone. You have support, you have love, you have friendship, you have partnership. So the trick here, Taurus, is to be honest. The trick here is to be honest with yourself, to look at the numbers, right? This is a great, like numbers don't lie. Look at the numbers. If you're trying to make a move, if you're trying to get an apartment, if you're trying to change jobs, can you afford it? right now, today. You know, take your time, do things slowly, and ask for help when needed. This is a month, again, with Libra season, where our partnerships, not just our romantic partnerships, but our family, our friends, our, our coworkers, uh, where partnerships take center stage. Taurus, it's like, be real. <laughs> you know, like, be real. Be real about what you need. Be real about what you're able to do on your own and be real about who can help you. And this is not a month, I think, for pride. If you, if you work out of pride, you're just going to destroy yourself. If you function from a place of pride, you're going to hurt yourself. So don't hurt yourself. Taurus, I love you so much. Have the best month ever. I'll talk to you guys soon.